Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we have a very rare bird treat for you. We have a 1957 Ford Thunderbird. And although many of them were produced and made, a beautiful car, this one I'm with Ken Nagel. Ken, share with them what makes this one unique. Well, it's a, a 312 cubic inch engine with a 300 horsepower supercharged F code, they called it in those days. Uh, bird and uh, the, the, the real tweaking to it is they only made 196 of them that year out of all the many thousands of Thunderbirds they made. So let's go to our rare bird treat. So although you've seen a 57 T bird and this one is well being a bird it's in raven black and that's just great. I have my mascot here today Jen. All right. Jen, you keep me on track. All right, so let's go back. I guess you could say Jen today is our bird dog. Yeah. And let's look at the tail fins on this bird. I think one of the greatest designs is a Ford Thunderbird. And the attention that this car gets when we drive it is really sharp. I mean, everybody looks... Everybody loves it. Everybody thumbs up. You can see that Thunderbird emblem. That moves over nicely for the key. I want to show those wonderful fins done just right. Very sleek versus the 57 Bel Air, which is also an unbelievable design. Can we open up the trunk for just a second? We've got some trunk treats. The antenna, nice little in there. The beautiful thing when you come to Ken's collection is you're basically seeing what appears to be showroom new cars and you go right back to that time period. I'll just show you the copy of the original invoice on the Thunderbird. It shows you the supercharge option right there which makes it quite unique. And we got that right there. The jack instructions with the car. And you can see all the... There's your antenna cord and how that all matches up there. Just wonderful. All right, we'll, we'll close that. Let's... Uh, we'll, go, we'll work our way up to the front. Let's uh, go to the interior, shall we? Okay. Now the interesting thing with this car, especially when it's got the hard top porthole on, is there is kind of a trick to get into this car. And I say that because if you just move in head first, you're going to bang your head on there. So you have to kind of slip your head in and go from there. But let me show you the instrumentation on this one. So I slip my head in first and body second. You've got the... Ken, tell me about these gauges here. Those are the uh, performance gauges on it there, as you can see what they're all about. Uh, they're, they're an outside option uh, for the car. Uh, this car happened to come with them, so it's a little added extra feature. And the reason why you wanted this Thunderbird, not only clearly because it's absolutely gorgeous, but why, why is it that this one had to be in part of the Ken Nagel collection? Well, because it's a limited edition, a limited production, 196 out of, I think there was over 20,000 T-Birds made that year, and uh, it puts it in a whole different category and different class, and rare, which in turn holds the value better and everything else. But it's also just a classy car. Yeah, it's really the classy. With the white interior just pops it like a tuxedo. Yeah, you're right. Really good. I'll feature all of these pieces here. The town and country radio with the push buttons. And your drive 
lever. Interesting with the there's no word Thunderbird in here. Obviously you have that beautiful logo. The mirrors down here. And talk about visibility. I just want to show people. So here I am in the driver's position. And from a visibility standpoint, this wraparound window, the portholes, and the back glass right upon you. So you have great visibility of the road with this beautiful hump in front of us. So getting out of the car is the opposite, kind of butt first. You have this Ford Crest there. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? I notice there's this vent here as well. The word Thunderbird there. There's our horn. You also have the hood scoop. And let me just show the front of this car. And here is the supercharged unit. We have the sun beaming on it. So I'm just going to let you take that in for a moment. What you got going on here. So you can see our fan belt assembly off the supercharger right in here with our fuel line coming in. Let me also feature that tag right there. Let's see if I can get that there. Everything, this, the Thunderbird Special V8. I'll just show you what that profile looks like with the hood up. The birds singing with the Thunderbird. Noticing your manifold is up on this side. You got two latches for the hood, our battery, your firing order. Well, Ken, let's uh, let's fire this one up, shall we? Okay. an angry bird <laughs> and we'll show you the front of this car. so I wanted to show you the front end of this car
Okay, let's step on the brakes for just a second, Ken. We'll show those tail lights. All right, thank you. What's in that aisle for just a second? The exhaust comes right through there. Ken, while we got you in there, let's take this one for a ride. Okay, ready. So I'm here with Ken Nagel, and we are driving the 57. I just got to show you this hood before we go too far. Is that a great look? The hood with the proper bulge, the headlights. Looks rather mean. Yeah, exactly. Has some slight Batmobile feel to it, and the uh, supercharged engine. Now, Ken, you stated that uh, there's not many of these. No, there was 196 total. Uh, made of this uh, particular the F code as they call it supercharged car Thunderbirds and uh, so it limits it down from I don't know how many thousands of uh, Thunderbirds they made that year but it, the, the, the 196 is pretty small and how many are out there today that's another story you know what's left yeah yeah what a uh, what's the uh, what's the feeling just from a uh, performance standpoint does it well, feel it, commanding does it feel yeah, I, I haven't really punched it ever to get out. I, <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe my car's enough. a little bit yeah. because I don't need another repair bill. Right, right, and, right. Uh, so uh, I haven't done that, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, but I mean, it, 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 it seems very comfortable as yeah. we're driving it. There's no question. You can see, I'm going to try to... But just featuring Ken, and you can see where the roof line is. Yeah. You have to kind of <laughs> position yeah, yourself with your head in first and then... Right. bring the rest of your body in if you don't want to uh, have a concussion. Right. But other than that, I mean, talk about a beauty. What a wonderful trip down the country road yeah. in the F code. Yeah. I just want to show people what the lookout in the back. So you're right on the back of the car and you can see those beautiful fins. The mirrors yeah. properly positioned yeah. and just the instrumentation. It's just absolutely wonderful. Well, Ken, what a uh, what an amazing car! Thank you. On a perfect day. Perfect day, right? <laughs> and uh, I just uh, I'm going to give people just a little bit more as we move it around, just a little more time in the country with us and let them enjoy some of this ride. It does sound pretty good. Though. It does. Yeah. I mean, you know, I know you're not getting on it, but it's. Getting on a little bit. About to got a hawk there. Yeah, almost. <laughs> well, it felt the Thunderbird. Yeah, so it was right, a whole yeah. bird thing. We almost had a hawk hit us, but uh, it was. The Thunderbird felt the felt the performance of the hawk, and the hawk got frustrated. Yeah. I'll just let you enjoy this for a moment. Always a treat. Such a pleasure being with you. Thank you so much for allowing me to come on out and share your great cars with the globe. And uh, I hope people enjoy what they see. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button, or not well, the thumbs up button if you like it, but also hit the subscribe button and the uh, bell so that you can see every car. And uh, what a treat. Thanks, Ken. Okay. Thank you for inviting me.